Hey everyone, it is time for a brand new Wreck This Journal episode. Unlike hotel floors and elevator buttons, I am not skipping number 13. And just to prove to you all that it's actually lucky, I have included a giveaway at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that if you want to win a Wreck This Journal of your own. If you happen to enjoy this series and you want to see it happen more often on my channel, please give this video a thumbs up. Let's try to get to 10,000 pretty please to help this video get spread around and reach more eyes on YouTube. Also, uh, subscribe to my channel if you never want to miss a new video from me. And now, without further ado, let's get on into the pages. First, I'm going to be decorating the instructions page. And for this, I decided to use my Prismacolored pencils to create a rather abstract design, minus the arrow that I'm wrapping around the giant arrow that's already on the page, and just kind of making it look like it's going behind and then coming out to the other end. I really enjoy pages like this because there's no specific prompt and I can literally do anything that I want to do. For some reason, I hadn't really been inspired or motivated to do Wreck This Journal the past few weeks. A lot of you probably noticed that if you were waiting for this video. I don't know what was up with me, but I just felt like doing other types of videos instead. It just happens sometimes. I like doing random swirly shapes when I do abstract drawings. They're pretty easy to do and it gives the page a surreal, whimsical vibe. Then as as you can see I added these petally ruffly shapes all around one side of each of the swirly tentacle guys. Kind of looks like octopi reaching across the page. Once I was finished with the colored details, I went back in with the black colored pencil again and did some outlines and straight lines across that corner there. And then around the arrow in the middle, I went in and did half of it light pink and half of it light blue. And then I colored in all those letters one at a time while watching Riverdale, which by the way, I finished and it was pretty good. I do recommend it. So this is what it turned out like, but I'm still deciding if I want to add more little black details in the future. I think it does look great like this, but I don't know. It just looks really simplistic and I haven't decided if I want to make it more intricate, if that makes sense. Recently while shopping at Target, I came across this pair of oil slick scissors and they looked amazing, so I had to buy them. I have way, way, way too many pairs of scissors in my craft room, but they had to come home with me. Couldn't leave them. I am of course doing the scratch page by using a sharp object which is my pair of scissors first though I'm going in with a pencil and I'm just gonna do a little outline of the image that I want to scratch into the page this just makes it a lot easier than doing it freehand because uh, you can't erase the scratch marks I shouldn't have to warn you guys that scissors are sharp and you probably shouldn't do this but I'm going to anyway. I have cut myself on scissors quite a few times in the past and I hadn't been doing anything quite this stupid with them. So yeah, if you try this, it's at your own risk and I did not tell you to. I was really, really super careful about using these and not sliding my hand along the blade. You have to keep a very, very, very tight grip on the part of the scissors that you're holding and just make sure that you don't cut yourself if you do this, please. Just like the previous page, this one looks like it literally took 10, 20 minutes to create, but it took a long time, so looks can be very deceiving. I ended up, as you can see, scratching out a little pair of scissors onto the page and then a kind of paper chain shaped like hearts and the scraps of paper that would be cut away from those. I think it turned out pretty cool. And I guess my cat Leo did too because here he is inspecting the page. It would have been 10 times cooler though if I could have gotten him to scratch the page with his claws. Oh my gosh, look at this face. He says, definitely a step up from the April Fool's edition of the same page. Now let's switch on over to the Wreck This Journal in color for one of the pages because some of you said that you enjoyed seeing me go a little bit more crazy and carefree with the pages in this book since it's not my main journal. I don't care about actually wrecking it instead of just like prettifying, pretty, prettifying, <laughs> making it look beautiful. Anyway, I decided to do the mix so many colors that they turn to mud page. And for this, I'm using acrylic paints a bunch of different metallic -y colors and regular and the purple kind of went a little crazy but it's okay after that i grabbed a ruler and i am just going to drag that well i almost did it nicely oh yeah i actually cringed in real life when i missed the other side of the paint there that should not have happened it was not satisfying at all for you guys now i'm so sorry but anyway, I got them all to drag now and I'm just kind of mixing them around the page with the ruler. You could also do this with a gift card that you've used up or a piece of cardboard. Anything that is flat that you can drag along the page. 
After covering a majority of the page, I flipped the ruler to the other side just to have a clean piece of it to work with. And then I went back up at the top since there is more paint left. And this is going to allow me to do pops of color on top of the muddled color. After that, I dripped paint on the other page and I decided to use my fingers for this just to have so much fun and let loose. Oh, and by the way, if you wash this off of the ruler before it dries, it'll make it a lot quicker and easier. I mean, they kind of look like pretty unrealistic mud, I guess. I don't know. I could have added brown and black and gray into the mix, but you know, I wanted to make it look decent. I did think that it would be a little bit more brown instead of like a purpley pinky gray, not quite brown. But yeah, anyway, moving on to the final page. Here we have the test page, which is very slightly used. As you can see, there's like a little colored pencil spot on there. But anyway, I'm going to be testing these finger crayons that I got from Target for only $3. First, I wanted to see if I could color with all five of them on my fingers at once. I started out with three, then four, then five, and just did a bunch of little light scribbles all over this page. Now I'm going in and doing the real art, which is just a very simple crayon. I'm actually drawing a crayon on this page with a finger crayon. Speaking of crayons, recently I saw the comments on one of my really old videos where I did heart-shaped crayons. I grew up in Toledo, Ohio, which is close to Michigan, and when I first started my channel, I had a more distinct accent than I do now, I think anyway. I said my A is really funny, I don't know. And I used to say it like crayon, crayon. I can't even say it anymore. I used to say crayon like crayon. And I probably still sound really weird to some of you guys. But anyway, there's still people who comment on that video and I think it's so funny that they're telling me that I say crayon wrong. Different dialect around the United States and other countries that speak English is very interesting to me. So if you guys have had anyone call you out on how you pronounce a word weirdly, let me know about it in the comment section below. I always think it's hilarious when people get like really bent out of shape over how someone says something incorrectly even though there's just different ways to pronounce it across the country and the globe. Unless you say tomato, then we might have a bone to pick. So now it's time for the giveaway! How you enter is one, be subscribed to my channel. This is a subscriber contest. Well, it's not a contest. Two, be following me on Facebook, Twitter, and or Instagram, and there will be a photo pinned to the top of those pages that you can comment on and that will enter you into the giveaway. But three, you have to comment on this video saying which page from this video is your favorite and your username from the site that you entered on or social media page you entered on. Thank you all so very much for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to let me know by giving it a like. And also, if you are not caught up on these videos yet and you think they look interesting, click them or one of them so you can watch. And I will see you here in my next video. Don't forget about the giveaway. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye.